Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosa here. Uh, for today's video, I want to be showing something in Caden Live that took me personally a little bit of time to discover. I've been editing video in Caden Live for a number of years now, and I really think there is a lot uh, in this software. If, even if you are a consider yourself an intermediate video editor, I would definitely call myself perhaps upper beginner. Um, something I love about Caden Live and video editing is that it's uh, there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to unpick. So um, let me just show in this video the various effects and composition stack. Now, I don't mean to insult anyone's intelligence with this video, but it really did take me a while to actually see that you need to click into these little buttons here in order to actually get the full array of features. Now, the way I have this set up is uh, I'm gonna just undock my view menu. There is the effects composition stack effects and composition i've chosen to th to show all three and i have them as tabs in the middle this is my own kind of custom viewing profile that i've been working with for a while now in uh in caden live now if here's where i, I don't want to use the word misleading perhaps confusing is a better word here here's where it gets a little bit confusing right the effects composition stack will show you the effects and compositions you apply to a particular clip so if i crop into or if i clip this video and I add, let's say, uh, I can even add a fade, and I'm gonna move the timeline back a little bit. Now, in my effects and composition stack, you can see that there's a fade in. So the stack refers to the effects and tr transitions applied on a particular clip. Now, another one I use all the time is transform. So if I drag and drop the transform uh, composition onto this little few second, uh, few, few starting seconds of this clip, now there's nothing showing in the effects composition stack. But as soon as I select this clip here, we're going to be able to see in the effects composition stack, transform is going to now be showing up as well. So let's go back to effects here. Now it kind of looks to me or for a while I thought, well, there's actually not that much in Caden Live in terms of effects, right? If we undock this and click into audio correction, okay, fade in, fade out, very useful, gain, very useful, mute, useful, normal, normalize, extremely useful. And you can also, by the way, apply these not just to clips, but to layers. So if you look at audio one here, rather than normalizing the audio for this part of the video and this part of the video, I'm gonna just get rid of them here, take these off. You can actually drag the normalize effect onto audio track one. And now we have track A1 audio one effect. So you can, this is something I do for almost every video. I normalize the audio before I upload it to YouTube. Um, so getting back to the effects here, so you might think, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different effects in uh, audio effects, and that is not actually correct. If you hover over this, you'll see it says main effects. This is not all the effects that there are. These are just the main ones. For example, in audio correction, we saw that we have only about seven effects. I don't see compressor there, but look, look what happens when I start typing compressor into the search, uh, search bar. We actually have a ton of effects. And these were nowhere to be seen in the first menu. Compressed your left side, mid side, mono, stereo, all different compression plugins for audio. So it's very easy to miss them. The next one here says show all video effects and this will show all the vid video effects and this will show all the audio effects and they're grouped into uh, different menus here. So if I go into audio now, we're going to be seeing those uh, compressor plugins there. Um, the other thing you can have is you can show all custom effects and there's also uh, show favorite items. So this is quite useful. If you're using something all the time, let's say normalize, you can right click on it and, uh, or let's say mute and click add to favorites. And then if it's already on your favorites, you can remove it from the favorites. And then by clicking on favorites, I have the ones I'm using kind of day in and day out. So in summary, the first thing you're going to see in the effects tab does not represent all the effects. You can search through it to find all the effects. It's just the top line ones. If you want to actually go into all the video effects, you need to click on the video icon, audio effects on the audio icon. And in order to make this process a bit quicker, you can add items into your favorite. But don't make the mistake I did of uh, clicking into this and saying, well, that's all the effects in Caden Live. You need to go into these tabs or search in order to find the total number of effects. And if we show all audio effects, you actually start to see there's actually a lot of different effects in Caden Live, right? An awful lot. So there's a lot of digging there for those who are looking to do more advanced things for video. 
And if you thought you'd seen all the different effects, you probably haven't. There's a lot to uh, play around with and learn in those menus, a lot, really a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, quick video about Caden Live was useful. And to get more videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.